Hello fourth grade and today we are going to start with our music lesson by going to Google, open up a new tab and type in Chrome Music Lab and if you need to know how to spell it go ahead pause this video and take a look. Whenever you're ready press enter and we are going to press the first website that says Chrome Music Lab. All right, so if you were at Fred last year, maybe you are familiar with Chrome Music Lab and uh, maybe you've played some of these games before. Chrome Music Lab is a website from Google and it has a bunch of different music games as you can see. So in November, we're going to do a uh, Chrome Music Lab little unit where we're going to create different projects and songs and rhythms and things like that using Chrome Music Lab. So the first one we're going to focus on today is Song Maker. It is the second one that pops up. So let's go ahead press the arrow for Song Maker and open up that. Alright, now before we start playing around with anything Let's go ahead down to the settings here, press that little gear. Now we're going to change two of the settings, which is going to be very important. The length, I'm going to make it two bars long, so just two bars for the length. Then we're going to go down here to the range and make that one octave. So the two settings we're changing is the length up here, the first one, and then the range down here, the last one. So length is two bars, range is one octave. When you have that, go ahead, hit the check mark, and now your screen should look at mine, like mine. All right, so down here at the bottom, you see there's a slightly wider little gray line down here. And then there are some different uh, size circles and so on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a beat down here and I want you to copy my pattern. So for my pattern, I'm going to do triangle, triangle, circle, circle, triangle, triangle, circle, circle, and so on. So I want you to copy this beat that I have down here. All right, and now if you need to, go ahead and pause this video so you can create your beat on the bottom, but I'm gonna go ahead and keep going. All right, so let's play our beat and see how it sounds right now. So we should all have the same sounding beat right now. I'm going to go ahead and pause. The play and pause is down here in this bottom corner. Now, look at this little uh, button here that says electronic. So this is a way to change the instruments that our beat is. So for example, I'm going to click the play. And then the electronic, I'm going to click that. It's going to change to little wood blocks. Sounds a little bit different. I'm going to click it again. It's gonna to go to a drum kit and so on. So go ahead and click through all of these different sounds and find your favorite sound and go ahead and stick with that one. All right, now the next thing we're going to do is up here at the top, you see that there are a bunch of little squares or rectangles. If you click on them, they fill in little colored blocks. If you click on the blocks again, it will erase what you have. All right, so notice that at the bottom of these blocks, there are low notes on the bottom. At the top are high notes. So it goes from low to high, high to low. So at the top, high at the bottom. All right, so you can see you can fill them in pretty quickly. Now, I want you to erase, if you have anything on yours, erase everything by clicking on them or dragging your mouse over it. And I'm going to create a pattern with these colored blocks and I want you to copy it. So let's start with this pattern. All 
right, so go ahead and pause the video and copy this pattern here. All right, I'm going to keep going and moving on. And when you're ready, hit play and see how your pattern sounds together. All right, I'm going to pause it. Now, for just like you changed the instrument sounds for the beats down here, we can also change the instrument sounds of our colorful blocks. So I'm going to play it again and just listen. Right now, see this first one that says marimba? I'm going to click on it, and now it's a piano. Click on it again, now it's strings. It sounds like plucking strings. And I'm going to go through and see which combination I like the best. Alright, so you find what you like the most and stick with that. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and erase what we have now and create a new pattern. So I'm going to erase that. Actually, I'm going to also erase the beat that we have down here. Alright, this time we're going to fill in every single circle. So I want to see all of those circles filled in. After you fill in all of the circles, I'm going to do one triangle, skip triangle, skip triangle, and so on. Okay, so here is how your beat should sound, and your instrument might be different, and that's okay, but they're still playing the same rhythms. Okay, so now you should have the same rhythm pattern down here. Now let me create a new with my color blocks and I want you to copy it. All right, so my patterns are getting a little bit more tricky this time. All right, so you see the pattern goes smoothly up and down. Then we go up and down again. This time at the end, you can see that I skipped a few blocks. So they're not exactly touching each other, they're a little bit further away. So I want you to recreate this pattern and select whichever instrument you think sounds the best for your project. When you're ready, go ahead and play it. And I'm going to play mine to see how it sounds together. Okay, now we are going to do one more thing. I'm going to erase what I just had down, but keep the same exact beat here on the bottom. What I'm going to do is create some kind of repeated pattern with my block. So for example, I can do one, two, three, one, two, three, and keep going with that pattern. Or maybe I can do a pattern of, I can do one, I can skip this one blank, or I can do something like that, I can do one and then two. All right, so some kind of repeated pattern between all of the squares. So maybe something like this. You see it's a repeated pattern. This one has two orange. This one has this stack two orange, then we have these three, orange, these three, and so on. Okay, so you go ahead, create some kind of repeated pattern with the colored blocks, but keep this bottom rhythm the same. Actually, maybe I'm going to change it up like this, make it a little more interesting. So you see I have green going the whole way through. And then it's kind of switching around to which of the other colors we have. All right. And now you can do a lot of different things here. So create some kind of repeated pattern, and it can be anything like I just showed you in the examples. When you are done with your repeated pattern, that is going to be your assignment for today that you have to have to submit. So before you erase anything, 
let's go down here and click the save button now it says your song is saved at this link so you see there's a big long link here so go ahead hit copy link it's going to highlight it and now go into the schoology discussion for this week and i want you to paste this link so i can see your creation so let's do it one more time your assignment for this week is to keep this beat down at the bottom then create some kind of repeated pattern with the colored blocks go down here click save copy the link and paste it in the schoology discussion for this week all right so that is it for this part of the music lesson this week there is going to be one more thing you need to do but that's going to be in a different video